Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Despite the court suspended the implementation of House Levy Act, William Ruto is coming back as already members of parliament are back. They are back and the expectations are, are they going to continue rejecting the housing program or housing levy or not? But Honorable Gadoni Wamuchoma has made it very clear to UDA that she is not done opposing the affordable housing project. She says the following must be addressed, despite of William Ruto seeing that it is a must that these members of parliament must pass the, the housing program in the National Assembly. Now, number one, Gadoli Omuchoma is seeing if the UDA brigades wants, him, wants her to support the housing program or housing project, they must understand and describe to Kenyans or her accessibility of these houses by all Kenyans. Number two, the houses must be made affordable to Kenyans, hustlers who have almost no income. Number three, the government must have a clear legal framework of how public land is taken and given to private developers. Number four, she says she is convinced that there are top government officials who have made this their business and they are determined to make a kill at the expense of everyone else. So I want you to listen to whatever Gadoni Omuchoma is saying. But before we do that, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to listen to whatever William Ruto is saying that it is a must. It is a must that these members of parliament must pass his program. And I want you to listen. I just want to put the audio. I want you to listen to whatever William Ruto is saying. Let us listen to whatever William Ruto is saying. What? Na mina ambia hawa wabunge. Sasa sheria ile iko bunge. Ambaye ni ya housing. Ile kotini ilisema tupitishe. Tunataka by Tuesday iwe imekamilika. Vijana ni wengi wanataka kwenda kufanya kazi. Si vijana muko. Si munataka kazi. Ebu nione wale vijana hawana kazi kwa hii mkutano. Sasa wewe wa mumbi. Ukienda kungedhi ya uko bunge na hawa watu wanangwajea kazi. Hawa watu watakuzamisha. Siwe jamaa apitishe hiyo sheria asubuhi. Mnampatia amri apitishe asubuhi. Na mapema. Na waje maswali mingi. Ama namna gani? So according to William Ruto, despite of Gadoni Omchomba saying that she is going to reject the housing project, he's busy forcing these members of parliament to go and pass it. But Gadoni Omchomba is saying this. In your own word or judgment how do you see? Is Gadono Muchoma telling us the reality and the truth? And is this housing project going to assist Kenyans? Because the question that we are asking, how much is the accessibility of the houses? The same to what Gadono Muchoma is asking. How much is the affordability, affordability of these houses to those hustlers who do not have even any kind of income. So Gadono Muchomba is advocating for Kenyans, not only for the Gudunguri constituency, because it is so, so funny that a old mother or dad is living in a certain rural area. He or she is enjoying the environment. They are having good um, houses. And he is being told that the house that he is living is not affordable. And mainly thing that I've realized about this issue of housing. 
Wewe imagine zinajengwa kwa matao. Sa mtu kutoka Kiambu ataambiwa kuna affordable housing hapa Nairobi. O kuna affordable housing Kiambu. O kuna affordable housing Kajiado. But inajengwa kwa matowns, urban areas. What is the agenda of this rural land? And that is the question. So it is so sad that you're being told it is affordable, accessible. And for me to hustle us, it is not. So we don't want to say to you, to petition this Sharia, to stop it and to stop it. And to stop it and That is whatever William Mutu is ordering these members of parliament to do. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video.